Hey there, everybody. Bill Jr. I'm coming at you because uh, what we've been experiencing over these last 24 to 48 hours and what we're scheduled to experience over the next week, uh, which is kind of crazy to think about here in Metro Detroit, um, is really kind of unprecedented. Uh, we had over uh, nearly two inches of rain hit yesterday. Uh, that's why it's Saturday and it's uh, nearly five o'clock and I'm still here and we're answering phone calls uh, and booking appointments. So what I'm here today to walk everybody through is just what the heck do you do if you have leaks in water coming into your home? Uh, number one, get a hold of us. I, I, I'm not trying to blow our own horn here, but it's really important. Get a hold of a qualified, reputable roofing contractor who can actually solve your problems. Even if right now they can only temp it in, right? Uh, and, you, and, and what I mean by that is do a, a short-term temporary repair to actually stop the water from actively coming into your home. Um, do that, right? Buy yourself a little bit of time so we can do a full assessment, figure out what's wrong and how do we correct that? Whether it's a repair, whether it's a replacement, just how do we keep you dry and protected? Now, if you've already had a leak and you have moisture in your home, one of the best things you can do is turn your, your fan on on your HVAC unit in the home because what that's going to do it's actually going to keep that, that air moving, right? Uh, if you have your air conditioning unit on, it's going to help suck out some of that moisture that's otherwise hanging out in your HVAC system. Well, it's going to suck it out from hanging out in your home. Um, if you have wet insulation up in your attic space, this is the next best thing. So A, you get a temp in. B, you turn on that fan and just leave it on on your HVAC. And three... Uh, if you got a box fan, something like that, and you you have moisture up in your attic space, leave the hole open, right, uh, and get that fan up there. Put a fan up there, blowing to keep that air moving up there, um, so you don't get stagnant, damp air up in your attic space. Okay, uh, and if if all else fails. Uh, just try and collect the water, right? Uh, whether that is putting a, a tarp down and some buckets or pots or pans, the key is we want to prevent moisture, which is code for water, from doing any more damage than it otherwise can. Uh, so we want to stop it. We want to dry it out as quickly as we can. Uh, in some situations, this may mean, you know, rotating uh, uh, devices out throughout the day just to help keep that dry. Uh, and the last thing is just patience. And I know it's not easy. Right now, we have prioritized. Um, we are only taking appointments for homes and businesses that have active leaks after the rain that just came through. Um, all of our other ancillary services, gutter cleanings, you know, gutter guards, insulation, we're pushing all those things out about two weeks, right? So this way we can prioritize and be responsive. And as it goes, hop to it. Uh, for those folks who are truly in need, whether that's with your business, uh, I know we've had Rich and Mondo going all day today. We're going to have them going all day tomorrow. We have our, our shingle technicians out there today, um, uh, and we just want to keep as many people dry and protected as we can. So again, number one, get somebody out there who's qualified, who can actually document what it is, and, and hopefully provide at least uh, a short-term temporary uh, repair for you. Two, Turn on that HVAC system. Turn that fan to on so you keep that air circulating. You don't allow moisture to build up in your home. Number three, get up in that attic space and put a fan up there. Keep that moisture rolling or, you know, keep that, that air rolling and preventing the moisture from building up up there. Um, and, and number four, just do anything you can, whether that's tarps, whether it's five-gallon buckets, pots, pans, to collect and stop the water from causing any other damage anywhere else in your home. And lastly, and I know it is tough again, I'll come back to those patients. Um, we are working around the clock. We're working seven days a week for you right now. Um, we are prioritizing everyone who has active leaks. Uh, so if you have an issue, give us a call. We're gonna get out there just as soon as we can. Uh, obviously, Mother Nature's not gonna really cooperate over the next week, uh, but we're gonna be working as diligently and as safely as we can uh, to keep you safe, keep you dry, keep you protected, and ultimately get you back to whole. So I appreciate it. I hope this helps. And we look forward to hopping to it for you. Take care, everybody, and stay safe and stay dry.